Now for the biggie, Gerritsen's inequality. Which says 16 big R little r minus 5 little r squared is less than or equal to s squared is less than or equal to 4 r squared plus 4 big R little r plus 3 little r squared. Now, I claim that this follows. Oh, so let's let O be the circumcenter of ABC. Um, H be the orthocenter. I be the in center and G be the centroid of ABC. Then I claim that IH squared equals 4 big R squared plus 4 RR plus 3 little r squared minus S squared. And IG squared equals uh, S squared plus 5 little r squared minus 16 RR over 9. Um, which immediately implies the desired result. Now, I'm sort of going to leave this as an, as an exercise. But I'll, the outline of the proof is we look at this, the, lo the Euler line. We, we have O and H, and then N is the midpoint, and G is the point 1. N is the 9-point center. of ABC. And then we have some other point I, which is the in center. But these are all collinear in that ratio. And we know this. We know that this is the square root of this. And furthermore, we know this length. Because the nine points, it's Feuerbach's theorem that the nine point circle is tangent to the in circle. So we know this length. That's uh, you can look in Evan Chen's book you can, to, for the complex number solution to, pr to proving this. Or there's some inversive solution in Lemmas and Olympia Geometry. Both of those are excellent books. Lemmas and Olympia Geometry is by Andrescu, Korsky, and Pohoata. Both of those are excellent books. Anyway, and then we have OH squared. We can prove this by complex numbers also or perhaps by other methods. And then we get some, and now we can write, so we want to write this in terms of these, these three things. But we know, and we can, and this can also be proven. So we get some expression for this, and that gives us this. And then we just use Stewart's theorem to compute this length and this length. And that proves Gerritsen's inequality. Uh, I think I'll get back to this, to proving this part later. We also have this. This is by the definition of S. And to prove this, we note that this is the area of ABC, and this is the area of ABC, so they're equal. But I'll get back to this one in a little bit. So that's Gerritsen's inequality. And from it, and from Euler's inequality, we can immediately deduce the Mitrinovich inequality. says that 3 root 3 little r is less than or equal to s is less than or equal to this. Oh, notice that the, those expressions for the lengths immediately also give us the equality case in this, which is that the, either one has equality if and only if the triangle is equilateral. 
as it can be checked that for i and h to coincide, the triangle must be equilateral. And for i and g to coincide, the triangle must be equilateral. And this immediately gives us Mitrinovich's inequality. How? Well, we know that 27r squared equals uh, 16 times 2r times r time minus 5r squared. And by Euler's inequality, this is less than this, less than or equal to this, which we know is less than or equal to s squared. And furthermore, we have that s squared is less than or equal to this. And then replacing the r's with, r, replacing the little r's with big R over 2's, we have this. And then taking square roots gives us the desired inequality. And we can see that for, inequali for equality to hold, it's necessary to have equality. In either one, it's necessary to have equality in Gerritsen's inequality. And so we need the triangle to be equilateral. And it's easily computed that that's also sufficient for equality to hold. Oh, the manipulations we did are valid because 16r is positive, 4r is positive, r, r, and both r's are positive, so yes. That gives us the Mitrinovich inequality. Um, and there are more inequalities relating all these things. There's London's inequality, and maybe even more. But yeah, that's what I'm going to say about that for now, because now I want to talk about the hadwiger vinsler inequality. which says this. It's less than or equal to. And you might be asking, what's k? Well, k is the area of ABC. So how do we prove the Hadwiger-Finsler inequality? Uh, let me, I'll rewrite this at the top of the board. Give myself a little more space. So this is what we want to prove. So we're going to use the so-called Ravi substitution, which is, where, which is the use of the triangle inequality, where specifically we take x to be this, y to be this, and z to be this. Then by the triangle inequality, x, y, and z are greater than 0. and Furthermore, we have a equals y plus z, b equals x plus z, and c equals x plus y. Now we can even further say this. Then s minus a equals x, s minus b equals y, and s minus c equals z. So now Heron's formula give, lets us write this. OK, so furthermore, we can compute this. As yeah, it's, it's just computation to see that this is this. And 
this is this. Um, what is it? Okay, we want a plus sign there. So we have transformed this inequality into this. So writing a question mark to denote that that's what we want to prove. That's, it's easy to compute that 2 times this minus this is this. This is equivalent to this. And since x, y, and z are positive, that is equivalent to this. And now we can, this becomes, like, multi, then if we multiply both sides by 2, this can actually be, be written, this can be rewritten like this. Which is, of course, true by the trivial inequality. And for us to have equality, yeah. So, and for x, y, and z to be all positive, and to have equality, and this is true by the trivial inequality, so that proves this. Now for the equality case, for x, y, and z to be all, we would have to have this. This is equivalent to that. So for equality to hold, we would have to have this. And for x and y, x, y, and z to be positive and have this, we would need this, which implies that the triangle is equilateral, and it can be verified that that gives us that that gives us equality. We could also have a weird now if the triangle is not an actual triangle, but rather something with, with three where the three vertices are collinear, um, we can also have equality to have w two of these be equal to zero, two of x, y, and z to be zero or all three of them to be 0. Then we get a triangle that looks like this. But yeah, that's the Hadwiger-Finsler inequality. Uh, uh, that's what I have to say about inequalities in triangles. Oh, one other thing. So earlier, I said that I would 